Welcome back to Portugal for the second day of the Judo Grand Prix in Odivelas. To open the event, speeches were given by the Mayor of Odivelas, Hugo Martins, the President of the Institute for Youth and Sports, Victor Pataco, the President of the Portuguese Judo Federation, Sergio Pina, and the International Judo Federation Head Sport Director, Vladimir Barta. The ceremony started with a demonstration of the Avos do Judo project. The Judo Club de Marina Grande implemented this innovative social project in 2022 with the support of the Portugal 2020 program. Lucy Renshaw secured the gold medal at under 63 kilograms. She overcame an early Waza Ari by Katarina Hecker of Australia due to Hans Sokumake. Hugo Martins, mayor of Odivelas municipality, was on hand to award the medals. At under 73 kilograms, Danny Lavrentev claimed his medal with a stunning epon, demonstrating excellent control and change of direction for his first Grand Prix gold. He was awarded his medal by Vladimir Barta, head sport director of the International Judo Federation. In the women's under 70 kilogram category, double world champion Barbara Matic achieved her fifth Grand Prix gold. A tough match leading to Hansoku Make for Gunalza Madniyazova. Matic celebrated her victory with joy. She was awarded her medal by Neil Adams, commentator of the International Judo Federation and world champion. It's really good. I really like to be in Portugal because it's a similar, uh, like in splitting Croatia. It's hot and nice weather and I like it. At under 81 kilograms, Yoshito Hojo made his first appearance on the World Judo Tour and claimed gold. A fantastic epon from the youngster. The medals were awarded by Florin Daniel Lascao, head referee director of the International Judo Federation. I'm really very happy. I've been thinking that this is going to be the start of a series of events for me and I'm looking forward to turning this victory into more in the future. The judokas from Portugal showed their excellence and talent today, displaying some outstanding performances with magnificent epons that inspired the local spectators throughout the day. That's it for day two. Join us tomorrow for the heavyweights in Portugal.